Thank you, Honorable um, Speaker. Sir. <clears throat> Honorable Speaker, I thank the Honorable Member for the question. Honorable Speaker, so we have already recovered over half, which is about 56.4% of visitors Fiji received in 2019. Our national airline, Fiji Airways, is currently holding approximately 8% higher bookings from August and going forward for about 12 months. 35 properties in July showed that they're actually operating at an uh, average of about 85% occupancy on the speaker. And the average daily rate in July was 23% more than July 2019. Mr. Speaker, so I'd, as I'd actually previously mentioned in Parliament, we're actually going to make every marketing dollar count. So in this financial year, Trusen Fiji, like many other organizations, will focus on seizing some new opportunities. And there is a changing paradigm in, in the tourism industry, and we need to wholeheartedly actually welcome this transformation. With respect to our branding, sir, uh, Tourism Fiji has a number of key activities that are planned uh, for Fiji and our global markets. And this starts with a brand evolution that re-energizes the iconic Fiji where happiness finds you. And Mr. Speaker, so the Fiji where happiness finds you brand has rep represented us for about over a decade. And it has done so wonderfully year on year uh, in terms of growth in visited numbers also. But a lot has changed, which means we need to be future looking. Um, we're actually working with the Ministry of Toki Affairs and other relevant stakeholders to bring out more of what it is about Fiji that uh, truly inspires people to visit. Uh, we're, we will be essentially connecting people with Fijians more than we ever did so before, sir. So without giving too much away, um, we can expect the new campaign uh, to roll out on the 10th of October. And I can tell you that we're very excited about this rebrand as it's uh, sure to elevate Fiji's presence and help us stand out amongst our competitors. I can let a little bit go. I know where happiness find you branding is actually very popular amongst all Fijians. We won't be losing that, we're just rejigging it. So. With respect to its corporate plan, um, in May this year, Tourism Fiji launched its 2022-2024 corporate plan. Two-year roadmap sets out a clear path, Honorable uh, Speaker, to drive our tourism recovery forward. And what's unique here is, is that it actually looks beyond marketing and looks at the strategies to create a meaningful job, to create meaningful jobs, stronger uh, value chains, environmental stewardship, and connecting visitors to more of our culture and, and delivers value to the custodians of the land and to Fijians. With respect to new routes, um, Honorable Speaker, sir, we are also looking at new markets. Soon, as you all know, Fiji Airways will start the direct flights to Vancouver and this is an opportunity for Tourism Fiji to increase visibility in North America. The tourism industry uh, our, has a huge Fijian diaspora so in, our, in our national airline, and we all see this as, a good, as good news, and rightfully so, Mr. Speaker, because we are more connected with the world. Um, I know Honorable Gavoka had mentioned something along the lines of the economics of operating flights to Canada should drive Fiji, not its politics. I really don't know where that came from, sir. Maybe he should say that to uh, every Fijian that's returning home and they're coming back in, in absolute droves, sir. And every tourist who can get to Fiji a lot easier. Mr. Speaker, sir, the more we connect, uh, and the more we benefit. Fiji Airways flying direct also to Adelaide. He's already showing us promising results and we received the highest number of Australians in July uh, than in any given month in Fijian history. Yeah, yeah. And uh, in terms of our niche products, sir, uh, tours, through Tourism Fiji, we're also supporting our creative arts sector and building greater synergy with tourism. We're looking at promoting some of our Fijian talent as well as our local designers, etc. We know our capabilities, sir, in hosting top tier events, and top tier events including sports tourism, and also the mice market, sir. Uh, with borders now open, we will continue to host such events. Uh, with respect to our website, Mr. Speaker, sir, Tourism Fiji's website has actually generated about 4 million page views with 1.5 million new users added. So 
So over 1.7 million operator listings were actually viewed and 150,000 leads were sent from the site to tourism operators with the average time spent on the site an impressive two minutes. With respect to regional activities also, um, besides increasing our digital footprint, sir, we are, Tourism Feed is actually participating in in-country events with most recent being the Connect Marketplace event in Michigan to promote MICE to over 50 participants and the, treasure, the treasures of the South Pacific Roadshow in Australia that had over 100 trade partners. So TF also continues to work with the global travel industry and trade partners such as Hello World, Luxury Escapes and Expedia and MasterCard, sir. In respect to other markets, sir, we will, uh, aside from the normal traditional markets, we will maintain a presence in the Asian markets such as China and India with Tourism Fiji ready to roll out the, those particular market re uh, re-entry plans. I hope that answers this question, sir. I thank you very much.